Well, it finally happened. The fans have spoken. The game developers have listened. And a partnership was made between Mojang and PlayStation. Finally, Minecraft is available on PlayStation 3, and I'm very excited. My son's got me into this game, and I've been hooked ever since. And the moment I found out it was available on the PlayStation 3, I had to get it. So, sit back, enjoy. This video is going to be my first and hopefully a long run of videos about surviving Minecraft. What you see here is I'm leaving spawn because when I open up my game world, it's going to be available to anybody. I'm not worried about it. And, well, that's when I open it up. Right now, it's not open. Right now, it's open to friends and family. But at any rate, this video is about surviving that first night. So the first thing you want to do is you want to chop down some trees with your bare hands, get a stack of four or five pieces of wood, and look for a nice shelter, preferably one surrounded by a lot of resources. Now, if you're familiar with Minecraft on the computer, you'll find that the PlayStation's interface is a little different. One of the huge differences is that in the vanilla version of Minecraft, one without any modifications, the interface pretty much shows you all the formulas and tools that are required to build the products that you want. So there's no guessing what materials you need. So that's the one easy aspect about it. It's still a lot of fun, so don't worry about losing the, the mystique of not knowing what elements are there or in what you need to build stuff. You'll have fun nonetheless. So at any rate, back to surviving that first night. You take your stack of four or five wood, break it down into logs and build a crafting table. And from there, you want to build your essentials. Pickaxe, shovel, and hand axe. You don't worry about the hoe for now. Just worry about getting that shovel so you could still got a nice little shelter. You'll make an elaborate home later, but for now, you just need a place to keep the monsters from attacking you at night. What I like to do is I like to go in and make an area, my living quarter, a minimal of three by three. What's crucial in saving time in Minecraft is always using the right tool for the job. Do not use a shovel to try to dig stone. Do not use a pickaxe to try to dig dirt. Don't use a sword to try to chop down the tree. Find the right tool for the job. In this case, stone is broken by pickaxes. I like to work until my weapon or tool breaks, so stay at it, keep working. I'm going to fast forward through all this and just show you that I accumulated the resources that I needed. So at any rate, once you have your space filled out, you got a space to work, you basically go through, take that stone you've acquired, make the outside of your shelter so it's visible even at a distance. So that's what I'll show you here. That was kind of weird listening to that music and fast forward, but at any rate. So, like I said, you make your outside of your shelter so it's visible, even at a distance. And you put a roof on it so that monsters don't just drop on top of you. And once you have the outside of your shuttle, or the outside of your shelter, you can then uh, go out and gather more resources. Don't worry about trying to make anything too large. You'll spend a lot of time and energy that you don't have. So, as you can see, the outside of my shelter is developed. I can now move my operation inside. And I did all this within the first few hours of the first day. A lot of people try to start mining, and next thing you know, they're totally hungry. They've got nothing to show for it. And the space that they have is too large, spawning way too many monsters. You want a nice small space that you can easily light with four torches or less. So, now I'm moving my operations inside. I got my shelter built. I take my crafting table, take it inside, and set it down and start working. 
with all that extra stone the very next thing you're going to need is an oven oven is impressive for one of two things one you can create charcoal to create sources of light and you can smelt your metal ore so you can make more durable tools and weapons so once you have your oven created you then have to head out gather more resources more firewood the firewood of course is going to be used to make charcoal minecraft is a like i said it's a really nice game it's family friendly on the playstation it allows you to team up with people on your friend list and the way it's open if you have their network open friends of your friends can join your server so you can if you have your network open you want to play with people that you barely know and have a social event it gives a great great opportunity you could change the settings so that you can have uh, friendly damage so your friends can hurt you and you can hurt your friends or you could turn that feature off I'll show more of that in later installments of these videos okay so now I've gathered the wood heading in gonna take uh, this firewood inside oh I'm gonna also show you something about the uh, furnace the furnace will burn any wood products whether you're throwing uh, firewood in or tree saplings but every item you put into the furnace has its own uh, I guess its own half-life how long it will actually burn for as you can see uh, with this sapling I'll place the sapling inside the furnace let you see how long that'll that'll burn for it's basically used if you don't have anything else to burn but you need something to cook real quick as you can see it's not going to burn nearly long enough to actually do anything effective but it is a source of fuel if you need it so at any rate back to making charcoal you take wood planks and uh, any other fuel you burn that and or actually not, I shouldn't say wood planks but actually logs you put logs in the furnace burn those for a while you'll make charcoal one important thing about Minecraft is you have to be really good at multitasking you don't want to just sit and wait time is crucial the moment the sun goes down the monsters come out and one thing depending on your level of difficulty you have set certain monsters will seek out doors and try to beat the doors down I have this game set for easy so zombies won't pound the doors down but if you want to play a more challenging game you can change the game level to difficulty and wooden doors won't stop zombies so anyway back to building the shuttle or I keep wanting to say shuttle shelter put your I like to put a porch down just a good you know better aesthetics put a shelter that you can spot from a distance put a fence line up so creatures can't just crowd your door and once your fence is down you put a gate at the fence and put a door in place and you should have a nice cozy little spot it's a great way to get started it doesn't consume a lot of food so you don't starve to death just trying to make a home and you get all this done all during the first day so as you can see here my place is secure monsters can't hop over the fence shut the fence behind me head inside it's getting dark outside it's time to put some light up put my door in place and seal off all entrances nothing can come in through here I have yet to discover which monsters are a part of the PlayStation version but something tells me this is going to have at least the blobs so you have spiders skeletons with uh, arrows zombies uh, creatures in the nether wolves cows pigs chickens uh, what else not sure exactly so well I'll keep posted if you all have any comments or know any tips about what monsters are out there please leave them in the show notes my shelter is complete I'm safe for the evening and on later videos I'll show you all how to turn this small little spot into an elaborate home base so I want to say thank you for tuning in I appreciate the support again like the video subscribe 
Check out my other videos, and I'll see you all later. Take care.